Okay, let's talk today about uh, hooking up a floating actuator to a Johnson Controls F4 CVM 3050 VAV controller. So this is where a lot of people new to Johnson Controls um, struggle. Um, this, uh, their controllers are a little bit different. And I'll, we're going to refer to this installation guide right here to kind of explain to some of it. And then I'll go into a Visio diagram showing you how you'll hook it up to make it work. So the 3050 looks like this. They have three binary outputs and some configure outputs on them, right? Well, the binary outputs act differently. They're triacs. So three, they're binary output terminals see that we're not going to see that we're going to go down here to right here where it talks about terminal block ratings go down to binary outputs so bo and then the number bo1 bo2 bo3 is a binary output 24 volt hot so it stays hot all the time binary output common or common in the number switches on when activated right here so what you do here let's see if my visio is still open so we have this nice blemo floating actuator right here um, and then we have a black common and then a red to let's say open it and a white to close it. Obviously, I can't do white, so I went with gray. So how would we hook this up on the CVM 3050? First, we're going to take this black, and you can do two options here. We can go and hook it up to hot on our controller. Like that. And that'll work. Or... We can hook it up to BO1. I'm going to hook it up to BO1 because we already know we got a wire coming in on hot. So I try to avoid putting two wires in a terminal if I have if I, if I can. And then red, to open it, we're going to come up here. We're going to land that on BO2, BO1 common. And then we're going to take this white wire, which is gray, and we're going to go to BO2 common. So now... The common of the actuator, the shared value of the actuator is actually going to be hot. And then we're going to do neutral power to red to open it and neutral power to white to close it. So that's exactly how you're going to hook it up. That's how you're going to wire it on there. And I. Now, how are we going to program this in CCT? We're going to come up here to CCT, do a new controller, VAV unit, hit OK. We get enter. There. So hot water, incremental. Remember, incremental is floating. So that's exactly what we want to choose. Finish. So now when we go to find our hardware, point assignments, incremental, one way, BO1, the other way, BO2. So this is going to be opening, this is going to be closing, and you're going to get a percentage, you're actually going to give a percentage signal to your command. So it's going to get that from proportional heating output. This guy right here is riding over to this hot water actuator. And that's what's going to drive it one way or the other. And it's set up for 60 seconds. So what's that going to do? After 60 seconds, it's going to turn off the power going to the direction. So if it goes fully open from a fully closed position, you've got a 60 second um, of power going one way, and then it's going to stop. So it needs to go the other way. I hope this explains a little bit 
better on how to hook up a floating actuator or flo anything floating on a Johnson Controls VAV controller.